A while ago, we had experienced one of the biggest Reddit events, r slash place. It is certainly an interesting experience, but unfortunately it is now over. However, did you know that you can create your own r slash place clone? Well, in this video we will be doing exactly that. So hit the like button and let's get started. So first things first, to create a clone, we will be using the place project from rbxb, which you can find its link in the description down below. Once we go there, we can check out the demo by going to this website. There as you can see, we have similar canvas like the r slash place. However, it has few differences, like you can place multiple pixels and you don't need to log in. So think this as a bare bones version of the r slash place. Now let's look at how we can use this project on our local machine. First, we clone the project to our desired location, like that. Once that's done, we want to make sure that we have Golang compiler installed on our machine. To verify it, we type the command go version. It should print out the version if it's installed properly. If not, you can simply install it from its official page. Anyway, let's get back to our project. Now we need to compile the project. To do it, we locate the main.go file. It should be under the cmd place directory. There, we use the command go build main.go. It is now compiled and now we have an executable. But before we execute that, we need to make a change. And that is setting the local mode. To do it, we open up the place.js file under the web root directory. There, we change the local mode from false to true and save it. Now we are ready to run. We head back to our terminal and type main. Then we add few options. First is the root. It takes the directory of root under the web folder. So I set it up like that. After doing that, we can set up the canvas width and height. In this example, I set them to 1000. Now when I hit enter, it should run. And there we go. To check if it is working properly, we head to the localhost 8000. There, as you can see, we got a canvas and we can place pixels by using the right click. We can also change the pixel color as we like from the bottom left corner. And that's basically it. You can also set additional options like changing the port, saving image, log outputs and so on. To do them, you can always check out the project's GitHub page. In the end, I think that this is a good project. Although it lacks some of the features, it can still be used in smaller communities and such. So I hope you have liked it as well and find it somewhat useful. Until next time, take care.